welcome to more ifc it is what it is this is the easiest way and the fastest way how to cut a vintage shirt i'm going to break it down the simplest and the easiest for you guys so if you're new channel do want to subscribe like and share and comment and click on notification bell i post videos every one is this and saturday new tutorial new style every one is this and saturday so without wasting much time so let's get started you need a chest measurement your length your shoulder and your sleeve length so i'm using a chest of 32 length 26 shoulder 16 and a sleeve length 9 inches so you're going to divide your bass or your chest into four so 32 divided by four use your own measurement and you're going to add one inch or one and a half inch you know add one inch or one and a half inch but when i'm cutting a vintage shirt or a shirt i will add one inch to it or maybe one and a half so each other way that you want so from this line i'm gonna measure five and a half inches five and a half in this five and a half inches for an elderly person i measure six inches six inches is okay for an elderly person like i said for an elderly person i measure six inches for this it's not an elderly person so i'm marking five and a half inches over here five and a half inches also here so I'm going to draw a straight line over there. So that straight line will be my starting line. So the length 26 add your sewing allowance one inch when i'm cutting a shoulder a t-shirt or vintage shirt stuff like shirt like that i uh, don't add no uh, allowance when i'm measuring the front you know if 26 i mark 26 so your chest divided by four this is going to be our starting line this is our starting line the rest there is not counted this is our starting line so you add you use your chest measurement divided by four and add your sewing allowance to it. When you come to this side, your bars divided by four, you add your sewing allowance, then you draw a straight line over there. So after drawing your line, then you cut, you just cut. So you can see, I just finished cutting it. We still have a five inch in front and our bar is divided by four it's also there our length like i said when i'm cutting a shirt i don't add any sewing allowance to the length you know when i'm cutting a sanitary top where you add one inch or two inch to it but when i'm cutting a t-shirt i don't add the length the length is 30 is 30 if it's 20 is 20. so here we have our five and a half inches over here and our bar is divided by four plus our sewing allowance also here so this is it and this is our so we allowance one and a half you can add one inch it's up to you so this is the back the back you can see obviously where i put the back you know so yeah the same your bar is divided by four plus your so allowance so when i put the front on top like this you can see the line in the back is also the same thing so when i look here at the bottom i have three and a half here three and a half here as you can see just look the way i've placed the back you know just look very carefully it's very important here so i see the way i'm arranging everything you make sure you arrange the same thing I post videos every one is this and Saturday. New star, new tutorial, new tutorial every one is this and So please do all and click on notification bell and subscribe if you have not subscribed yet. 
you have not done that you know i'm telling you there are so much things i want to teach you guys so much things i want to teach you so, so pay attention here this is the back this is the center foot of the back you have to mark that back you have to mark over there so you measure your neck measurement i'm using two inches over here i have a tutorial how to cut your neck or size but this one is a vintage shirt so it have it's cutting different neck you know the neck of it is different so pay attention and listen so you just have to cut your shoulder slope you know one and a half or two inches for the shoulder slope i cut one and a half over there so you're going to fold here the five inches but now we are not going to fold exactly five inches you know a five and a half inches this part was five and a half inches so we're going to fold five inches instead we're going to leave the half inches you know we have five and a half inches we first draw a line of five and a half inches so i'm folding five inches right now so it's left with half inch i'll show you to pay attention and look so i folded five inches this is five inches folding so when you look here you come here you can see that this part is longer this part you can see there's a difference over here so this part is the half inch i've left half inch over there so this is the half inch as you see remember i folded five inch and um, we measure five inch we measure five inch a uh, five and a half inch so this is the half also so this part you can see that there's a part here don't cut it yet don't cut this part yet just leave it that way then you drag it to the back to level with the bottom You have to fold here you let it fall on each other on a half inch from this line from this line from the back i was in this line that is the way our starting line is that's the actual starting line so that's the way you're going to measure your shoulder so your shoulder divided by two the shoulder going to divide your shoulder by two so whatever you get then you add half inch to it you add half inch to it then from the shoulder whatever you get you use the same thing for your armhole so if your shoulder is 15 inches is that is seven and a half and added half inch making eight then you're going to use the same eight inches for your armhole use the same eight inches for your armhole that's the best thing that easy and simple so we're going to come in front half inch so simple and easy then you come to the next side you always pay attention to the back line that's why the back is always there as a guide don't take off the back you just have to let it be there you see when you fold this part we have a half inch this part so we are not using the half inch we are actually using the back this line that will be our center line so that's why you're going to use to cut your shoulder and you're going to use it to cut your neck then your measurement then you mark i'm marking two inches for an elder person you mark two and a half inches for the elder person you mark two and a half inches so if you're new to the channel do well subscribe like and share comment and click on notification bell there's going to be a tutorial how to cut a perfect neck for vintage neck there's going to be a full tutorial i'm going to break it down how to cut a perfect vintage neck and that will be the next tutorial it's more ifc it is worry so wait i'm going to explain to it every secret every tip that you really need to know when cutting a vintage neck some people don't know how to cut it next so i'm going to speak it down it's more ifc god bless you all it is what it is